Mental health advocates say there is a national emergency of children and teenagers when it comes to their mental health and suicide. Retreat Behavioral Health, it's a health facility based in Lancaster County, hosted a virtual discussion highlighting the growing number of youth suicides and bullying. There's been more anxiety, depression, even stress, especially among black, Latino, and LGBT youth amid this pandemic. Some signs of mental health struggles include things like indulging in food, low self-esteem, a change in daily habits, and the feeling of hopelessness. Experts say the key to spotting depression and suicidal thoughts in young people is knowing the signs and talking about it. We know that talking to someone about suicide won't increase or cause suicidal thoughts or cause the person to act on them. And it can actually help them feel less isolated and scared. So don't be afraid to have those conversations. If you if you notice that a friend um, or someone you work with has been, you know, feeling down, um, please go out there and speak to them and uh, be hopeful. You know, people can and do get better. And according to the CDC, people 10 to 25 years old account for 14 percent of all suicides. So those in need of help or struggling with the thoughts of suicide, you can call this number. It's the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. It's 1-800-273-8255.